Um, in terms of my future at this level, I don't, I, I'll have to give it some consideration. I mean, there are a lot of things that um, I had put on hold for football and um, they need to be done. No, based on that interview, we got the idea and the feeling that Philip Williams not returning at Portmore United, but I guarantee you no one, nobody, not even Nostradamus himself, would have predicted that coach Davian Ferguson would have been the man to replace him a couple of months later. Yeah, people, welcome back to Jumpiel Fan, and I just a quick off-season update once more, breaking news basically, and what's going on at Portmore United. It has been confirmed by Sportsmax and Davian Ferguson himself that he will be the number one man at the helm at the Portmore Base Club. So a big move for the former more pleasant assistant coach, a man that many believe he was by far the best assistant coach in the league. Even more pleasant himself did rumor to offer him the position and he decided to walk away from it as well. Now it has come clear as to why as he's now end up at Portmore United. Now a little bit of um, a brief synopsis of who David Ferguson himself is. As I said before he was uh, part of that successful more pleasant team for the last two years as assistant coach at the top of Whitmore. But he also have over 10 years in the coaching game, coaching the likes of From FC to From Technical High School to GC Foster to Heidel, and obviously currently he's the coach of JC. So he has been around the blocks, of course, but this in itself, a Premier League managerial position as the head coach, is a big step. Um, as for Portmore, they were decent last year under Philip Williams. Their record in the league is that they've cut the number four position after 26 matches played with 13 wins, 10 draws, 3 losses and a goal difference of 21 that gave them 49 points and a place in that playoff. It was actually a very good effort by Portmore United because outside of Cavalier, they're practically the youngest team in the league. So Philip Willis did a decent job especially on that defense as by far they're one of the meanest backline out there. So. Of course, we all know the story what happened after that. They went into the playoffs, they went into the quarterfinals, came against the junglists, and despite battling hard, they just end up falling short of their main target of going to the JPL final, of course. So Davon is stepping into a very decent team that has used to winning last year and may have the likes of Siobhan Walsh and Alex Marshall returning to help the younger core, as well as maybe this is a match made in heaven when you think about ferguson experience of working with youth teams so again that is the big breaking news once again credit to my man though he did gave us a hint of something was up with the more pleasant coaching staff and portmore a couple days ago but he did mention that whitmore himself might be there so since his ferguson is the main man the mystery on where Tapa will be next is still up in the air Montego Bay United's spot is still empty, so who knows, maybe him and Warren Bart will be there, or he might still be overseas, or he might be at Harbour View, another vacant spot. But for now, the spotlight is on David Ferguson. This will be his movie to star in, so let us see if he can take this young Pomer team to greater heights. But anyway, that is all for now. So one last time, David Ferguson is the new head coach at Portmore United. But that's all I got um, on this off-season JPL update. If you're new here, please like, subscribe and share as we keep you up to date on all things in the Jamaican Premier League, including anybody that pops up at Monica Bay United or Harbour View. But for now, if you want to see Portmore United's last game of the season in that crucial clash against Arne Gardens, I have a review here of the quarterfinal leg 2 right here. Otherwise, keep it locked right here and jump in fun. You too, big up yourself. I've had a few offers um, since leaving Mount Pleasant, but when I look at everything in the overall having conversations with the management of Portman, I thought that this time was the best project um, for me and the best fit in terms of what we want. 